Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. Now in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how you can create your first Hello World project using Node.js from start to end. So when we were installing Node.js, we have seen how we can, uh, you know, just copy and paste the code and create a simple Node.js project. But we will see in this video what this code means and how we can create a very simple um, Hello World Node.js uh, server. Uh, so let's get started. I will be using uh, Windows for this, but uh, you can, you know, do the same on uh, your Linux operating system or Mac OS. Plus, I'm using uh, the Visual Studio Code for uh, editing my code or as an editor. But you are free to use any other code editor which you please to use. So what I'm going to do first is I will just open the you know folder in which I want to create my project so for example this is the folder where I want to create a project on Windows simple uh, you know thing is you can just press the shift button and right click on it and you can open the command line in this folder by this method so just press shift right click and just uh, press this option which says open command uh, window here which is going to open the command window in this folder right now here what we need to do is we will create first of all uh, for example a folder which will uh, we will name it as hello world for example so I will just write mkdir uh, hello world uh, or let it be hello right and press enter this is going to create this folder right and then uh, we will go inside this folder so cd hello and we are inside this folder so let's go inside this folder and in here what we will do is we are going to create a file javascript file for example so i will uh, do this by using visual studio code so if you have followed my last video in which i have shown you how to install visual studio code you can just type code here and then type dot and press enter which is going to open Visual Studio Code in this folder. So it's going to open Visual Studio Code uh, inside. Uh, it will be, uh, you know, opening this folder also for you, right? Now inside this folder, let's create a file. So I'm going to create a new file here and I'm going to name it as, so let me save this file as, for example, app.js file, okay? Press enter and this is going to create your app.js file. Now let's uh, start writing some code. So first thing here we need here is var http is equal to require. So just write require and we need to require a module. So I will uh, tell you what the module is. So we just need to write http here. And a module is something like a library. So it does uh, what classes do in object oriented programming is so it's for example uh, whatever you do in C++ you just include a library inbuilt library for example uh, IO stream or some other libraries or you, what you import in Java you import some libraries in order to work with uh, those libraries in Java similarly mod node modules are the way to import some already built code in node.js and we can use uh, this code so there is such a module in uh, node.js which is already inbuilt module which is http and we need to create the instance instance of uh, this uh, module using require so require is like uh, include in c++ or import in uh, for example java right so after requiring uh, this um, HTTP module we created an instance of HTTP right now the next step is uh, we use the create an instance and uh, we will call a method called create server uh, to create an instance of this server right so just use uh, for example HTTP and then we will call a method called create server so just write create and server something like this okay and inside these uh, brackets we pass one function now in javascript 
if you know we can uh, make a anonymous function let's create a function here and then uh, we will see what is an anonymous function so for example I will just write var and for example I will just write uh, the name of the function so a few foo for example right and then I will just write function and we don't need to give any name to this function because we want this function to be anonymous and we will pass two argument here response and request so first will be for request for example and second argument is the response so you can give any name to these uh, argument I'm giving it according to the usage which we will pass here as an argument so you can do something like this or you can uh, you know use a full name for example request or response it doesn't really matter right and then you can just create this function so this kind of function doesn't have any name so they are called anonymous function and then you can uh, pass these functions here right so this will be uh, your function you are passing or instance of function you're passing inside this create server method now most common uh, you know usage of uh, this kind of anonymous function we don't uh, do it uh, something like this but instead of this passing the instance you can directly paste it something like this so you will mostly see this kind of code in uh, node.js so just pass uh, this anonymous function inside uh, these brackets and you will be good to go so there are both the ways are correct for you right now inside this function we will just take a request and the simple thing is to uh, send the response right so first of all on which port or uh, on uh, you know on which IP you are going to uh, run your uh, server for example so there is a function so just go outside uh, this uh, you know function and just call a function called listen so just write uh, listen function and whatever number you will write here this will be your port for example you will write uh, 3000 here this will be the port on which your uh, you know server will run so it will run on localhost obviously and it will run localhost 3000 port okay it will listen on 3000 for port you can do something like 8081 it, you know whatever port is available on your uh, you know computer you can use this for port so for example i use uh, 3000 and the next thing here is we will uh, take our uh, response uh, variable so just use this response variable and then call a method called end here okay and this is the basic you know thing you need to do in order to you know reply whatever uh, client is whenever client is uh, you know requesting from a get request HTTP request for example right so we will send for example hello world here so just write hello or hello node will be more appropriate right and if you want you can just give this line break here also so this is it this is the simplest server you can make using node.js and if you want you can just log uh, you know show the user that you have uh, you know created this uh, server on this port so you can just write uh, for example console.log and then uh, you can uh, give the information so for example I can write uh, server is uh, running on uh, for example 127.0.0.1 port 3000 okay and it will run on this uh, port and obviously you need to write HTTP I, I hope you know what this is so HTTP colon slash slash something like this right and if you want you can do something like this also and then save your code and open your command line once again and you can see it has this file and you can run this file using node and then the file name which is app.js press enter and you can see uh, it will give you this kind of uh, alert you can just allow on your windows operating system which is okay
and uh, it shows this message which we want to display from here so it's showing this message that uh, the server is running on this port so let's see uh, and let's open our browser and let's see if it opens or not so you can see here this uh, code is running so our server is running on 127.0.0 uh, colon 3000 on port 3000 and it's printing hello node right so this is the basic uh, you know code for the server so what we need to uh, create a server an instance of HTTP module and then this method which takes an anonymous function which have two argument request and uh, reply or uh, response request and response and uh, whenever request comes on this port you just uh, reply with this message which is uh, hello node for example now to inspect this code you can just right click here and uh, you can just click inspect element here on uh, chrome also i think uh, this is the same thing and uh, you go to network here so something like this here network and then when we reload our server for example you can see there is a request get request and uh, it's requesting this uh, IP and this port is sending get request and in the reply we are uh, getting the status code 200 which is okay whenever you uh, you know request uh, on get you are supposed to uh, you know get the 200 okay reply which is a correct reply from the server right now uh, this is the default so this uh, reply 200 will be sent automatically but if you want to be sure you can just write uh, response dot uh, write head so just write right head and then it takes a few arguments so first is the reply code which is 200 which is uh, also a status code or in http if you don't know what is uh, this 200 just search for http status codes right and you will uh, see what this means is and then uh, the next argument will be an object which contains uh, two argument one one is the content type so just write uh, content minus uh, type and content type will be uh, what kind of uh, you know uh, reply you want or you want uh, that client to receive so content type let's say it's a uh, text and plain so something like this not this but plain okay and then close it okay and then once again we will kill our server and once again we will run our server and then we will refresh our uh, you know request and it's the same no change here but this time we are making sure that we are sending 200 uh, on the client from the server using this code if you for example send 201 from here and save it and uh, once again run your server so let's kill and run our server once again and once again uh, refresh our code you see you get the status code 201 but this means different so this is not a good practice whenever you are using uh, get request you don't want to send 201 but because the meaning of 201 is a little bit different which is generally used in uh, post requests so you know just search for http status codes and you will be uh, you know good to go okay so this is how you can uh, write a basic server using node.js in the next video we will move forward and uh, so please rate comment subscribe and bye for now